Misty Island Rescue. Thomas and Percy were helping build a new summer, new search and rescue center on the island of Sodor. There was much work to do. It will be made of the strongest wood of all, zombie wood, said Sir Topham here. The wood will arrive today at Brendam Docks. Diesel tried to move the logs by himself and had a terrible accident. Luckily, Thomas saved Diesel, but the logs fell into the sea. Sir Topham Hatt was proud of Thomas. He asked Thomas to travel to the mainland to bring back more jobby wood. Percy was worried that the trip would be dangerous. A steamboat pulled Thomas on a raft toward the mainland. Far out at sea, Thomas heard a loud crack. Fizzling fireboxes, he peeped. The chain to the steamboat has snapped. The next morning, Thomas found himself on a strange island. It was very misty. He peeped into low, but nobody answered, so he went exploring. Suddenly, Thomas came fender to fender with three strange engines. Their names were Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand, and they called themselves the Longing Locos. Bash told Thomas he was on Misty Island. Meanwhile, everyone on Soldwar was looking for Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt and Captain raced out to sea. Percy searched every track. Harold took to the sky. Back on Misty Island, Bay, Stash, and Ferdinand showed Thomas where they lived. It was an old logging camp filled with windy tracks and rickety cabins. It was Thomas made an amazing discovery. This camp is filled with jobby wood, he peeped. That's the wood we need to build the search and rescue center. Thomas told the logging local all about the rescue center. They agreed to help him collect the logs. But the logging locals didn't like working. They wanted to play games and bounce on the Shink and Shink Shink Bridge. Thomas did not, definitely did not like the wibbly wobbly bridge. Old Wheezy, the giant long loader, wasn't much help either. He likes to throw logs, not stack them. Not stack them. After much biffing and bashing, Thomas had flat bits full of jolly logs. But he didn't know how to get back to Sodor. Bash told him about in an old tunnel that connected Misty Island to Sodor. Pushing their flatbeds it's full of logs, the engines reached the old tunnel. It was old, it was cold and dark. The logging locals were scared. Don't worry, peeped Thomas. With a whir and a whiff, we'll be on the island of Sodor. Suddenly, Tom, suddenly, with a rumble and a crash, there was a cave in. Rocks tumbled around, and the engines, they were trapped, and no one knew where they were. Thomas saw a hole in the roof, roof of the tunnel. He sent into puffs of steam. Thomas hoped someone would see the puffs and come to the rescue. Somebody did see the steam puffs. Percy! It's Thomas! Percy peeped excitedly. He's on Misty Island, and he needs help. Whiff told Percy about an old tunnel that led to Misty Island. Percy knew it would be dangerous, but it was the fastest way to save Thomas. Percy raced through the tunnel. It was dark and twisty. At last, he had found the cave. Watch out, Thomas, Percy puffed. I'm going to push back the rocks. Percy rocked and rolled 
Mountain and Pontus Pistons. Crash! Percy broke through the boulders. Thomas and the Long and Locals were saved. St. Tottenham Hat was very happy that Thomas and his new friends were safe. And, th and with all the new Jombie one, the rescue center would be finished very soon. Today is a special day. Made Today is a special day. Made possible by very special engines, St. Tottenham Man said at the opening of the search and rescue center. The people cheered. The engines all peeped. Thomas's pistons pumped with pride. The end.